And doing far away places first. So in that way the heat doesn't damage uh, adjacent components. I leave the solder the solder iron long enough for the metal to actually melt. Once it does, I just lift it and move into the one that's far away. And I think it's done. Now I come to this corner and I just keep doing it over and over. Now, I was not careful over here. I, by mistake, joined these two together. And you solve that simply by really getting your hot, your hot gun tip and just doing what I just did. Now you notice that it is no longer connected together. Okay, it's not the best soldering. I'm not the best solder in the world, but it will work. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to uh, develop, uh, how, as I see, I'm using a Linux, uh, but uh, in reality, I'm gonna be using Windows, okay, inside of VirtualBox, and I'm gonna start my Windows, I use in Windows 7, okay, and the software that I'm gonna be uh, uh, developing today is gonna be a Micro C, okay, I believe that this is the best solution, uh, easy, and, uh, it is a paid version, but we're gonna be using the free version, okay? Which it has a limited amount of code that you can put in, but it's pretty enough for any hobbies and even small projects, okay? Very large projects, uh, those are the ones that you're gonna have to buy a license, which is only, uh, uh, I see in as low as $200 uh, with promotions, uh, Micro C, really great, make things easy. Not like uh, KL, uh, this over here really kicked my tail. I was trying to set it up. It was too much work, too much of a hassle. Eclipse, uh, finally got it working, but oh my God, it was so much um, uh, markup and uh, work. So uh, what I'm trying to do today is just show you how to use a Micro C, okay? Micro C, you just go to the website, you download it in Windows, okay? Uh, also, you're gonna be using or needing to use uh, the STM32 uh, utility link okay to be able to uh, uh, write uh, the uh, bytes into the microcontroller okay and then um, for Linux users you guys if you're in Windows you don't have to see it but uh, if you are a Linux user you got to use a virtual box okay to download and then on that you're gonna have to download a copy of Windows okay you don't have to have a license for Windows but you need to install Linux uh, Windows on Linux okay um, so back to my now my Windows is already started I'm gonna uh, access it and I'm gonna open micro C uh, so that I can show you some code and then I also I'm gonna open the uh, utility ST link uh, that I'm gonna be using to write uh, to burn the hex file that micro C will create into the microcontroller okay now uh, as micro C is starting, uh, I'm gonna try to connect 
and you're gonna see that when I try to connect, it tells me that no STN link is detected. This is because I'm in Linux, and I gotta do Control C, uh, do this special, and assign the controller, uh, the little USB to the Windows uh, operating system. Now that I did that, Control C, and I back switch, and now I should be able to connect, not a problem. And Right now you see it's connected and it's telling me that I got a uh, STM32-100 series, okay? And uh, anytime, uh, well, I'm gonna go back to a micro C. In micro C, anytime that you want to create a project, okay? You just simply, uh, you just hit next. Uh, that is the pop-up window and here you give it a meaningful name, okay? Like my blink in light okay that could be my name okay I mean the name of the project and here I obviously got a, a select uh, I said I was gonna uh, talk about the uh, STM uh, 103 Charlie echo and that's what I'm looking for right now so there is uh, oh wait 103 not a hundred as you see a uh, micro C supports a lot of different mic controllers and it's oh, taking me a while to find it oh here it is okay and the internal internal oscillator it has a megahertz the external oscillator also has a megahertz so that's what i'm going with okay i don't have any files to add so i just hit next i'm going to include all libraries you don't have to but i'm just going to include it okay this is for like uh, make a lot of projects to be easier yeah you can select this over here and this is what's going to give you is these nice ways to set up your uh project okay uh this is how i it right now by default is using the internal oscillator a megahertz okay uh, therefore the external is turned off and the uh the the clock inside is meant to run with the internal oscillator we can change the settings okay the external oscillator is much more accurate Okay, not, not that the inside one is not that bad, but the outside is more accurate. So I'm gonna turn off the internal oscillator and I'm gonna use the onboard, uh, the chip, the uh, uh, onboard the circuit card uh, oscillator. So I just turn off the ex external one and then obviously I need to set up my external clock uh, as the source for the uh, system clock. Once I'm set up over here, notice that uh, a megahertz and um, make sure that you have the right STM uh, controller in there hit ok and here is a code now if I hit uh, compile I'm gonna get an error and there it is uh, and that's because one of the libraries uh, the USB library does not work hundred percent like it should be so I just I just told uh, to ignore the library I'm gonna compile and you're gonna see over here that everything is back to uh, zero now if I were to write a uh, I'm gonna show you in the next video how to write code in, in micro C, how easy it is. But right now, I'm just gonna show you how would I do if I was to write um, to burn into the mic controller once I had the code. Uh, you just simply, uh, well, you saw earlier, I connect to the to the uh, uh, ist link, okay? Then after that, you gotta delete whatever you got on the chip, okay? I'm already deleting it, okay? And then, uh, then you got a program. Okay, and here you gotta go in and you gotta browse. You gotta do this every single time. Don't just hit start because uh, for some reason it doesn't um, take all the latest updates. Okay, uh, this is a file that I already created, and that is the same one that I'm gonna be showing you in the video uh, next coming up. Okay, and I hit that one. I hit start, and look at that. It's already uh, it is while is programming is very fine that it is correct and in here is telling us that the program is verification was okay and now we can just simply see the live link and that is it for this one